Welcome to Nation. My name is Jersey and you are here. You have found a video possibly better than cat videos. But if this is your first time here, thanks for checking us out. Uh, this is available via uh, uh, po podcast, so iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, uh, TuneIn, all that good stuff, or YouTube or Facebook. Um, either way, however you're watching it, thanks for checking us out. Hopefully, it is uh, halfway all right, and you want to go back and watch some of the previous episodes. This is episode 30-something, so we got a ton of episodes for you to catch up on, all business-related and all not terrible. If you are part of the nation, you are somebody who watches religiously, you watch every episode, you are up to date, you have commented, you have thumbs up, you have everything, I want to say sincerely thank you for being here. Really, truly, you guys are the reason um, that I do the show. I get to do this is because of the nation, the people in the nation. So thanks. You guys are awesome. Let me just jump off for one second and just say how amazing you are. Last week's video, which was Waterfed 101, had like 50-something comments. It was crazy. Craziness. You guys are awesome. If you haven't had a chance to do so, uh, please do thumbs up, subscribe to Window Cleaning Resource YouTube channel, and make sure to comment. Why, you ask? Well, because we pick a winner every single week. First off, I am a sales rep for Window Cleaning Resource, and if you need to contact me for anything, please do so. My number is 862-312-2026. You can even just text me. I get texts every week. And those of you who have texted me, just be like, dude, great show, or hey, your nose isn't that crooked. I appreciate it, really. That's my best part of my week is hearing from you guys shooting me texts. So, really, thanks. I really, really do appreciate it. And speaking of, the winner this week is Matt Gaston. Matt, what's up, man? You won. You won. Uh, we're giving away a $50 credit, swag bag, that's a T-shirt, sticker pack, uh, pin, all that fun stuff. I know, man, you're waiting on the new stickers that are coming out for Nation itself, but you're going to have to just take the WCR kit, which comes kind of with a Nation sticker. So, awesome, man. Congrats. Just email me your info, josh at windowcleaningresource.com, and we'll get that out to you. Plus, the new stickers. We talked about the Nation stuff. Listen, I have new sticker sheets coming up. If you have sent me your info via email for stickers and I haven't gotten it to you, I'm so sorry. But the new sticker packs are coming out. They're being designed like in like the third draft of them and uh, we'll be having those shortly. So I will be getting you guys stickers out very, very soon. I also want to talk real quick about ICE. ICE is coming up. It's February 1st and 2nd in Las Vegas. It's 2018. Uh, if you're watching this show right away, go to Vegas, man, next week. If you're watching this show uh, after... <laughs> a little late check out ice or the huge convention these conventions are amazing i'm pretty excited to go this one a uh, lot of people that i know are going to be there that's very cool and i'll be teaching a water fed 101 in class so that'll be cool too uh shout outs for this week first off andrew mcconnell what up man thanks for checking us out dutch shine uh we met actually in nola um if you remember. But anyway, thanks either way for opening up conversation. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Jordan Window Cleaning for being so freaking smart. Yes, this is an awesome show. <laughs> right? I uh, know. I really do appreciate you guys watching. And comment, like I said. Uh, commenting is like the coolest thing anybody can do. I just read comments all the time. So narcissistic, I know. But I want to make sure the show doesn't suck too terrible for a lot of you guys. But either way, that's it. I covered all the bases. Here we go. So this week, we are going to be talking about free marketing. Yeah, free. Or damn close to free. Which, almost all of it's free, but there's stipulate. Anyway, we'll talk about it. First off, I want a disclaimer. Give you a disclaimer. First off, I'm not going to give you a cheesy disclaimer like, I'm not telling you to do any of those because I don't care. Try it all. Do it all. It's cool. Do whatever. It's your business. You can't be wrong, right? But remember, free usually 
equals sucky unless there's some kind of like ulterior motive, right? If you gave away a free gutter cleaning, it's going to be sucky unless it's a free gutter cleaning because they bought a window cleaning or whatever, right? That's just kind of how it is. I know you don't do sucky work. I get it. But you know what I'm saying. So keep that in mind and with a grain of salt because a lot of this stuff is like, oh, I never thought of that. Listen, try it all. Do it all. So one of the things I'm going to talk about is um, stuff you guys might already know about, but try it all. It's free. Even low-cost marketing, get your name everywhere. There's nothing better than seeing your name everywhere because then people will start associating you with the service and another thing that happens subliminally with people is that when they see your name and logo so often they associate trust with it they may not know anybody who's ever used your company but they've seen the logo they've heard the name they've done this they've done that they just instantly oh, i think somebody i know was talking about how they were pretty good no you just saw commercials you've just associated it with quality and trust which is epic trust in service is the biggest thing that you could possibly earn from anyone if you are trusted you're used that's 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 exactly what you're going for if you're trusted they're going to let you in their home you know so be everywhere put your logo on everything and create brand we'll talk about branding in another issue another episode but we're talking free marketing so First off in the list of free marketing things that I like to do and I recommend is Craigslist. Now, Craigslist can be done wrong, as can all this stuff, and you won't get anything. But if you get one person off of a free listing, that one person is going to translate to potentially being a customer for life and potentially going to be referrals down the road. But Craigslist is one of those that you can sure do this wrong. And you've seen it. We've all seen it. You know, bad grammar, crappy, just thrown out there. Uh, stupid pictures they pulled off the internet. Photo, bad photoshopping. Like, you say, hey, call now. House wash, $69, any size house. That's, that's the bad way to do it. Remember, if you're selling on price, you're going to get somebody buying on price. So, when you do an ad, yes, do the price because yes, there's there's tire kickers out there. Stop the tire kickers right away. If somebody, if you put it out there and you don't tell them a price because you're better than putting a price, I don't put prices out there. If they are interested, they'll call. Okay, but you're still gonna talk to some tire kickers and a lot of people aren't even gonna call. I know if I'm looking on Craigslist to buy something and there's not even a price, I'm not calling. I'm not calling because I don't even know the ballpark you're in. So make sure to put a price but don't sell on a price. So when you're doing an ad on Craigslist, there's a few things. The number one most important thing with Craigslist is the title because depending on what they're using it on, if you're on like a mobile device, um, an actual Craigslist app, which there are, um, you'll see pictures. You can catch with eye-catchy pictures, but most of the time, if they're on a computer, it's just Craigslist is a free site for the most part unless you're like a hooker or something then you gotta pay i think but uh it's free site so there's not graphics and it's just a line it's a single line of what that text is now if you put a thousand words in that line most of it's going to get cut off you're not going to translate it and you're not selling people in that line all you want to do is get interest peaked and people to click so catchy lines um i've done stuff for um employment um down this not necessarily on the marketing side of things but i've done uh employment like uh you know wanna be uh heroes needed or something you know like just catchy things that you look at it and then you can kind of translate in but the title is what grabs them if you can't think of a clever title check on the forums ask the forums talk to people there's some great amazing ideas out there but all you want them to do is open it it's like a brochure you don't load the front of the brochure up with a bunch of useless information you just have enough on there so that they open the brochure it's the same thing with craigslist you want them to open up the ad and when they do then they'll find hey if you are tired of dealing with the uh uh you know dirty winter blues give us a call we specialize in bullet points because these people are scanning so you want to make it nice and easy 
Simple line, maybe a little humor, eye catchy. Next line, bullet points. Window cleaning, pressure washing. Don't go crazy here. Even if you do 10 services, only list three. Because if you see 10 services, then they think you're a handyman. And uh, jack of all trades, master of none, really comes to mind. So, window cleaning, house washing, gutter cleaning. Right? Throw it out there, super easy. At the bottom, I always put the things that will close it. Right? 100% satisfaction guarantee. If you're not satisfied, you don't pay. We would love to earn your trust. Whatever catchphrases you have and kind of cliche, the one-liners that close work, right? That all goes at the bottom. That's your closing punch. Seven-day rain guarantee. $2 million insurance policy. Fully bonded. Whatever, licensed. All that fun stuff that you know they're going to ask. The bullet points to go, hey, I'm reputable. Check this out. Thousands of testimonials, A plus rating in the better business, but all those things you can put down there at the very bottom. Now, you necessarily don't have to go crazy because the crazier you go, all of a sudden they start losing importance and value. But if you do it that way, then they get hooked in to read, they quick and bl- uh, browse and see what it is you're offering, and then they're sold at the end. That's Craigslist. Craigslist is a very, very easy and simple way to get your name out there, get people to know your information, and the picture I put in there, sometimes maybe I'll put an interesting picture of window cleaning, but first and foremost, it's going to be my logo because guess what? When they pull it up, they're going to see the logo. And if they recognize my logo, they're going to recognize me. If they recognize it, they're going to trust me. If somebody's talked about it or they've used it, put your logo on there. Logo should go on everything. That's Craigslist in a nutshell. Now, Craigslist is like a stack server, okay? So when something is posted right now at 10.30 in the morning, the thing that's posted at 10.35 goes above that, and it stacks it down, stacks it down, stacks it down, stacks it down, and all of a sudden you're on you know page two down the way. You can renew or relist or whatever your ad. When you go into your account, you can pop it up there. So don't go and do it maybe every day because what happens is if you renew it, there's not a bunch of them on there, but if you put a new ad every single day, then as people are scrolling down, they see that same ad pop up a bunch of times and it's annoying as balls. I'm telling you from what my experience is, maybe yours is the same. If not, comment down below and tell me I'm dumb, but I hate seeing that. I hate it when one guy spams a page or a group or a whatever. It's, it's literally awful. I hate it so very, very much. So don't do that. Craigslist, super simple and free. Give it a shot. And... You can put ads out for window cleaning, put another ad out for pressure wash, put another ad out for house cleaning, roof cleaning, whatever you do, put it out there as different ads with different text and you'll catch different audiences with good catching lines in the very beginning. So definitely that's a really good one. A next version of free marketing, which has something to do with you, but not as much to do with you is an app called Nextdoor or what's called a listserv. Listserv is a neighborhood um, program and in that neighborhood program people can talk. It's like Facebook for a neighborhood. There's a few of these. Now my biggest, biggest, biggest pet peeve and I got a guy in the area that does this. Drives me crazy. If you're watching right now, stop man. Chill. Stop doing this. What it is is guys that spam those groups. Like, you should not spam those groups. You look stupid when you do that, first and foremost. You look dumb when you spam groups that aren't supposed to be spammed because everybody else is like, hey, lost dog, or hey, I have this piece of exercise equipment I want to trade, or hey, do you guys know when garbage day is? Hey, house washing, 99 Like, you look stupid. You're spamming the group, and you're going to get kicked out. And I hope you get kicked out if you spam the group. I have a pet peeve on that, so I'm sorry in advance, right? But what you can do is have others post your information. What looks better? You posting, hey, blah, 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 wash. Here's my deals. Here's dumb pictures. Here's whatever. And then having people talk, it looks like an ad. Or having Doris up the street, little old nice lady who just fell in love with you, your service, and saw pictures of your kids putting it up and saying, hey, I just use it. So what you can do is just like a referral you can just simply ask or bring it up so that they know. Simply asking, especially in referrals, which we'll talk about in a second, is huge. But if you go ahead and ask when you're all said and done and say, hey, Doris, we do a ton of work in this neighborhood. If there's ever a chance 
that you can go into your listserv next door if that's what you is, if you, especially if you know what it is, and put some kind words about us. We love that. I mean, we're trying to grow our business, and we love when people say really nice words. So if you find free time, oh, don't you worry. I'll make sure all my friends know. Oh, that would be amazing. Really, it would. You just asked. You just brought it up. And even if they never do it, you asked. It's simple. It's just like they would have never done it if you didn't ask. But most of the time, if you ask, people want to please. They want to help you out, especially if you did a good job. If you did a bad job, don't ask that. You shouldn't be doing bad jobs anyway, right? But having somebody else post it is way more effective than having posting it yourself. That's next door. Those are listservs. Check in your area, neighborhood apps, that type of thing. And it's called Next door check that one out you may even be listed in there as far as neighborhoods and you didn't even know so that's if you're in subdivisions and that type of thing now i know if you are in a large area and there's lots of neighborhoods and things like that there's probably still that type of service but you just bring it up to people just like a referral in general now just like a facebook for your neighborhood there is facebook in general social media is huge and social media is free Yes, you can pay stuff, and yes, you can boost things and do whatever you want that is charged. But there's a lot of things you can do free on Facebook. Now, this is why we always talk about if you're getting out of the office, you got a lot of stuff to do, right? This is creating value for yourself as your own employee, right? But here's something you can do. So there's Facebook, there's Instagram, and there's Twitter. Those are the three big ones. Now, uh, I'm not a huge fan of Twitter as much for business, but some people are. But those are the big ones. Facebook is epic. Here's why. Facebook is searchable. So if people search your type of terms that may be on your Facebook page, it's there. And you can make your own almost separate website for absolutely free starting a business Facebook page. And on that business Facebook page, you can put pictures of every job that you're on, cool things, happy customers, testimonials, referrals, whatever you want to put. You can boost that. And if someone likes you, they're on there, and you just did Doris's house, and Doris had nothing but nice things to say about you, and she likes your Facebook page, now when you're on the Facebook page, thanks, Doris, for everything. I love coming to your house. You're the sweetest lady. I wish you all the luck. Thanks again. Tag Doris. Doris's friends see all that. Doris is going, oh, those people are so nice. Jersey is such a nice guy. She jumps on and says, hey, well, they see interaction, and now it instantly tells all their friends and they can link your Facebook page on their own Facebook so if they really want to brag about you they can certainly do that Facebook is huge it's huge in Facebook remember the title and I'm not going to get into Facebook somebody can tell me I'm wrong it it happens but in Facebook that title of what your page is after you have so many followers or whatever you want that to be something that will index well don't be spammy on the page but just be fun with it you know Facebook's a really good one. When people find your Facebook because they searched uh, small town USA window washing or window cleaning, they can look at all that stuff and see everything and not see it being spammy, but see it as in fun, you know? So it's a very, very good one. If you ever want to learn SEO in Facebook and actually doing Facebook ads, talk to A-Type Data, Dave Carroll. The guy is amazing at this stuff. He does a lot of work for us. Um, He's great. That's A-Type Data, quick plug. He's a good dude. Dave Carroll, you 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 know David. Everybody knows David. David Carroll. But check with him. Uh, he does awesome work, actually, for the boosted stuff. But Twitter, like I said, it's a little bit less as much kind of focus. So I'm not going to talk about that much. If you do Twitter and you love it, please, please, please post it down below on YouTube here and tell us why you love it. That's how everybody else learns. So please brag all you like. Um, Instagram. Instagram is a great one too because Instagram's focus is what? Pictures. Pictures sell. Pictures are worth a thousand words. Cliche all hell, right? But pictures sell. Look at WCR stuff. We post pictures of guys' awesome work in general and people are like, wow, that's so cool. Just to see that kind of thing gets you invigorated. People are like that too. Don't take a picture, oh, this house is big, look at the big house. Nobody cares. If I have a house that isn't as big as those ones, I could really not care because now I feel inadequate, I feel stupid. I don't really want to call you. You're used to dealing with these big houses. You're not going to want to do You've had those people. Well, my house isn't that big, so, I mean, you can see if you even want to do it, right? Why is because they already have issues with their self, uh, 
worth because of the size of their house or the type of house or the whatever. Don't put it just because of that. But the pictures you can is cool pictures up a ladder as somebody's working or, you know, pictures. Nobody cares about the kind of cars they have. This isn't brag time for your friends. It's brag time about your services. So brag on your services all you want. But make sure that these pictures do not unintentionally displease people and make them have complexes about their about their own you know house so but that's another free one that is instagram it's it's a really good pictures 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 it's a good one to try free plus you can search on this stuff too so always remember that but on facebook itself not just having that business page you can have uh and jump into what's called facebook groups i'm not telling you anything that you don't know i know but there are a lot of groups where you're able to put sort of unbusinessy. I still hate posting direct spammy, you know, look at these two pictures of the roof we just cleaned. Our roof cleaning, $1.99. Like that's just awful. But what you can do is jump into those groups and casually talk about it to get people interested. People are not going to be interested solely on the base that you showed a picture and a price. Like you're you're reaching the wrong people and you're pissing everybody else off. So going into these groups, Facebook groups, there's moms groups. If you haven't heard of a moms group in there and you're not in that circle yet, you are lucky. But a moms group on Facebook is whatever your city is, moms or moms of your city or whatever, something like that. And what it is, is a group of moms, usually like stay at home moms or very active moms uh, who are doing things always with their kids and that type of thing who are in this group. Now, if you just jump in and spam it up, you're going to get kicked out. But if you ever jump in and see the right opportunity, those are great groups to post on because those people are active. They're talking about play dates and they're talking about the park and they're talking about everything else, right? So you're going to be able to jump in and let them have some more free time, selling free time as opposed to cost. And the nice thing too is if they don't work during the, the day, they usually are a well-off um, family, usually. I know there's differences in, in everything, but usually. But Facebook groups, mom groups are great. Um, city groups are really, really good. You can have actual city groups too that will have um, your city as the name, that kind of group or that type of thing. But on that same city groups is there city yard sale groups and that type of thing where you're going to have, I'm saying that type of thing a lot, I don't know, I'm sorry. But you can have Anytown USA yard sale or uh, sell your junk anytime, any city, you know. So a lot of those ones, this takes time to kind of find these groups. But when you join those groups, they're always selling stuff. So what I do is I'll go into groups like that and randomly post selling free time, right? And I'll put like some cheesy price on there or something like that. And people are like, what is this? And if they click on it, then the I'm saying is, hey, you got more than enough stuff to do and you would rather be skiing in the mountains this time of year than cleaning your windows. Let us help. Whatever we do will free you up with some free time. Uh, Honey-do list, you know, whatever you focus on. But selling those on those groups will get your, what, your logo out there again. And it could get you clients. It's absolutely free. So even if one person signs up or calls you or has interest of you or even passes it along, you are going to be in 100% ROI because it's free, man. Free. They're great. Check those ones out. The next one that, that I want to talk about a little bit that is free but not free is websites. If you have a website already, then what I'm about to talk to about is free. If you don't have a website yet, what are you doing? Websites are amazing. How do you not have a website? Websites will constantly sell for you. They are always information. It's like a, a flyer, handing a flyer out to anybody who's actually interested in instant timing. And plugging in a response a bit or something like that, now you're selling for you know 24 hours a day awesome program. If you want a discount coupon code for that, uh, let me know. I have that also for nation people. But anyway, um, if you have a website, you need to put that website different places. Now, this kind of borderlines um, actual SEO work to some kind of like hillbilly side degree. But there's a couple places that you can put your website that are huge, huge. And people go, okay, well, one of these, you don't need a website. Yeah, but if you don't have a website, 
all you're doing is putting your number out there, which is fine, but people can't, they're going to shop everybody who's got a website before they just randomly call you. But Google is a huge one. Google has places, maps, blah, blah, blah. They have all that different thing where you can insert your company, your website, your phone number, your all that into their basically list. And that's how you get listed for them to pop up on Google. Just getting it in there is a huge, huge benefit. Now, if you are a company listed with Google, just meaning they know who you are, right? There's a Google listing for XYZ window cleaning, right? Then what happens is, when you go to get referrals, uh, or people are finding you, when you remind them of referrals, you're going to send them to your Google business section. They're gonna review you there so that that starts ranking a lot better. And when Jane Smith down the street sees your ad, she's gonna see that Doris is talking all this mad, happy stuff about you, and it's all right there. She can read reviews. She can read reviews from everybody. So pushing that and getting listed is huge. Now, I know some of this stuff is just common knowledge. I get it, but this is just things to re uh, rethink of, I guess, in, in some of them. But that is a big one. Google Places uh, has to be a location. So if you are working out of your house, that gets to be trickier. If you are working with a PO or an actual address from a mailbox, they know that. So don't attempt to do that because if you piss Google off, you are dead to them. They, it's very hard to get kind of backlisted and they don't care. I had a competitor. This is years and years and years ago. Uh, somebody flagged me for something. It had to have been a competitor. Not pointing fingers. I don't care. But somebody did something and everything in my Google stuff was all removed. I called Google. I freaked out. I needed Google to just give me some time and they don't care. Why? It's a free listing. They don't need to put a bunch of time into it. Oh, our people will research it. Uh, yeah, they don't really research it because they don't care. It's not making them money. So they don't have a bunch of people that are just dedicated to that. So be careful with Google. Um, it's pretty good, though. Don't be scared of Google. Um, they are your friend. Um, but in um, Google itself, if you're doing places, you're doing um, the maps or uh businesses, business page, that type of thing in Google, then what you can do is get listed other places also. I always say Google first because Google is the king of everything, as everyone knows. But how about a Yelp? You guys have seen Yelp. You've probably read a review on Yelp. Yelp isn't what it used to be as far as bigness, but if you list in Yelp and anybody gives you a review in Yelp, now all of a sudden that's just another thing that you're indexing to. And your website, which you need to have a website, is now ranking also so that helps everything else go because it's creating which i know argue all you want about backlinks but it's still a listing when you look at the page yelp pulls up on the first page of google and if somebody jumps on that they can find you so it's kind of the backwards way of being on the first page of google but it's hugely benefit be everywhere like i said especially on these free ones uh yelp is a good one Yes, you can also be listed on uh, Angie's list as just a company being listed. Uh, Better Business Bureau, you can just be listed as a company. Be listed everywhere. Be listed everywhere, and it really just makes your presence that much bigger. So it's definitely um, something to look at. But um, with all of that, once you are in business, this is a lot easier, but... Uh, Emails. You, you don't think necessarily that you can do emails like the other guys. You get spam emails all the time. And unfortunately, you are going to be spam, right? Because you are a service. But the thing is, is that you are going to also be um, a business that somebody who has had services with you is interested in. So if you're interested in a service and they give you their email that's great, right? So what you can do in this especially, so we have our satisfaction forms. And in our satisfaction form, is very easy. It's just name and then um, three questions. And our questions are, are you 100% happy with your service? Um, uh, how were our tax? Very, very open-ended questions. Give me one thing you would love to change about our company. Very simple. They fill it out. And on the very bottom, Signature with a checkbox that says 100% satisfied because I want to reiterate that fact you will be 100% satisfied. And on the bottom under that, I'm going to put email. And uh, without even asking, 
50, 60% of people um, will fill out their email. And uh, their email, if they give you their email, I put them into a program called MailChimp. That's what I use. Uh, MailChimp is a free version of this over like uh, a, some large number of emails you have to pay. But uh, for the basic stuff, it's very easy to make a template, to make the email and send it off. So get MailChimp and start plugging emails in. Um, don't get emails illegally or some other way and just find them and then throw them in. You have to have them be interested because A, you're paying for something that's just a waste um, you know, somebody in another country, just cause you got the email, you paid for it or some list that they got, they don't need to be spammed. You don't even know they're interested in you. Like paying for likes, or paying for views. It's so stupid. You don't, why you want somebody to be interested in you. If they give you your email address, if they give you their email address, they're interested. So those are the people that you can send stuff to. Now don't be spammy. Don't send out a billion times, uh, you know, a day, don't do all that crazy stuff, but send out things. Hey, reminding um, snow removal season's here or get your gutters clean before summer rains come in or whatever, you know, window cleaning. I always put the title to be something that makes it open and you can track opens to see how you are ranking as far as if you get a 0. .0001 open rate, your message sucked. Like got windows well nobody maybe they're not buying windows they think you're buying windows not cleaning when whatever it could be but you can track all that right there in mailchimp something's very good to to check uh emails are huge because it's easy you can click one button after it's designed one button and send it to 500 people it's very very cool put coupons in there put uh buy one get one kind of deals where you get uh buy a window cleaning get a gutter cleaning anything that you would see in a store put in there because they can share the email. They can print the email. They'll use the email. And even if they schedule service every six months religiously, maybe it helps them want to book the service because of the deal that you gave them. Definitely something to work on MailChimp. And finally, there's lots of other ones. Again, like I said, we're all in this together, right? That's why we're checking this out right down below. If I forgot any cool free ones, any cool uh, messages, things that work for you, things that don't work for you, what you like, what you don't, comment down below. But finally, it's referrals in general. Now, referrals, no matter how much money you're spending at one point in marketing. I mean, we were spending almost $10,000 a month in marketing at one point. And um, I, there was, there was no beating referrals. Referrals will always be 50% of your new work. If you're doing a good job, it could be even higher than that. Referrals are huge. I know guys that have companies that only run off referrals. They don't even advertise anymore. Think of that money savings. Think of the headache that you don't even have to, because people are sending other people to you. You have your own salesman out there talking good about you. Referrals are king. Referrals are the way that you will grow your business as long as people are happy they're referring you. And if somebody referred you, they're going to use you again. So referrals are, are huge. Now, how do you get them? Like I said, just ask. You'd be surprised at how many things can happen if you just simply ask and say, hey, we're really trying to grow our business. I would love nothing more than if you know anybody or you hear anybody talking about window cleaning and you want to spread our word about us, I would love it. And remember, I talked about plastic gift cards in the tips and trick episode that's what we do for referrals we'll give them those plastic gift cards two of them one for them for the next service one for their friend and those plastic gift cards they hand out if they do come back to us all the time they get to be reused it's amazing but what happens is they go hey i just used this company and i have a business card that i'm going to hand you because it's worth money right they're not going to hand business cards out like People want to do you favors, but they don't want to be inconvenienced. No one's walking around with, with your business cards. But if you give them a gift card for 25 bucks, they're going to give that to their friend. They're going to because it's worth something. Again, tangible value over doing nice things will always win. But getting those referrals are going to be king in growing your business. Referrals are just absolutely epic. So try and try and try for those referrals. Be as polite as you can, as nice and simply ask. You'd be amazed at what you can accomplish. But just ask. So, there you go. I know this episode is not mind-altering, shaking. But if you have something that you want to hear us talk about, please let me know. Shoot me an email. Josh at windowcleaningresource.com. 
Let me know some ideas. I have troubles thinking of ideas for this every single week. Stuff is actually interesting, so please, please, please let me know. And I uh, very much appreciate it. But if you need any supplies at all, or questions and supplies, call me. 862-312-2026. Call me. Uh, text me on that number. Voxer me. Facebook message me. Anything. I'd love to get those orders in for you. That is why I'm here. So please do that. Thanks again for watching. And until next week, be epic.